Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. So today we are diving into Amazon Fire Stick 4K, a compact yet very powerful streaming device. Let's just unbox this and install it and let's see if it is worth it. So this Fire Stick comes in three versions, HD, 4K and 4K Max. The only difference between 4K and 4K Max is the GB. So it is 8 GB and that one is 12 GB. Uh, it is compatible with Wi-Fi as you can see and also you can see that and download these apps BBC Player, Prime Videos, Netflix, YouTube, Disney Plus, ITV, Ford, Now and Paramount. Uh, and it works with HDMI, you can directly connect it with your HDMI directly with your TV. You can also see that uh, it is ultra cinematic experience so this is 4k ultra hd high dynamic range quad core processor personalized entertainment tb soundbar control press and ask alexa so this is alexa compatible and it also gives you experience of dolby and atmos so let's just unbox it now see this comes with a sleek remote of course the fire stick the HDMI cable and a instruction manual and it also includes uh, two batteries this also comes with the cable I can see and this was the two batteries that I was talking about let's now set this up so there was also this adapter included this dongle was also there let's just open them one by one This is very sleek remote uh, so the, here it is Alexa button you can press it and ask Alexa it also comes with dedicated prime video button Netflix apps button and Disney plus I'm also putting the batteries inside the remote now So let's just install it now. So the batteries were AAA. First of all, before installation, if your television is on, just switch it off because you are going to place the HDMI cable. Take the power cable, the long wire one, and the adapter. Connect the this side to backside of the adapter and take your fire stick and connect other port to the fire stick. The port can be different position depending upon which fire stick you have. Now take your extender. You can see this is HDMI port. This one will go into the television HDMI and this one is for the Amazon fire stick. connect it in now I'll plug it into the HDMI port of television my television is Samsung TV so I have two HDMI so you you have to locate this this would look like this
this is connected to it now. Now for the final step, plug in the adapter. Switch on the TV and let's just set it up on the television. Now switch on your TV, go to connected devices and you can see your fire stick in here. Let me just connect my Wi-Fi now. Take your Fire Stick TV remote now and press this play button. Choose your language. Click yes. Now you can set up your remote. This will scan for Wi-Fi networks. It will also download some updates so let it you can also sign in into your Amazon account you can create one if you don't have any so the prompts are very clear you can see that you can uh, either use the code that's on my left hand side or you can scan the QR code from your app from the right hand side It is now connecting to the sound bar. It is asking me to toggle the volume buttons up and down. Seems like it is working okay for me, so I'll press yes. It has successfully installed now. It's all ready to go. So let's just get started. You could also enable the parental control if you want from the last screen. Now it's all installed and ready. You can enjoy watching the programs on your television with a great immersive experience. Yes, so don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on this video if you find it easier uh, and follow for more. Thank you for watching. So my final verdict on this Fire TV Stick 4K. I would say this is affordable. This was £38 on Amazon sale. It's performing excellently. The 4K quality is really good and smooth. I would say they have really upgraded and performed well on this remote because this is very easy to use, sleek design and also it's very fast. And the buttons are also improved as well if I compare it to the previous HDI. Uh, the only con I would say is because it's a uh, limited in app quality considering that this is a part of Amazon ecosystem and you might feel that there is interference uh, due to Amazon ads otherwise I would definitely say that this is worth it and so you should buy and enjoy the experience